All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another series of The Wheel of Fortune. It's series three, it's FIFA 17, and I'm very, very excited to be back. Listen, I'll be honest, at first, I wasn't quite sure whether I should bring it back for a third series, because normally, third series or the third installment in a movie trilogy, they don't always come out that well. You know, Home Alone 3, not great. Spider-Man 3, awful. Chipmunks chipwrecked. I mean, we've all seen it. It was decent, but it wasn't the same as the first two. Okay, so I wasn't sure. We did so well in, in Series 1. We won the Division 1 title. Series 2, we did even better. We won the Division 1 title even quicker. So can I do that for a third time in a row? Or will I risk, you know, damaging the legacy of this magnificent show? I didn't know what to do, but the thing was, every time I closed my eyes, I kept hearing the same music. Listen. <laughs> Bang! We're back. Yes, you know we're not messing around, okay? This is Wheel of Fortune Series 3, Episode 1. We're going formal all the way to the bank, okay? A few things to talk about before we crack on with the series. I'm not going to re-explain all the rules. If you want to know the rules, they're in the description below, or you can watch Episode 1 from either Series 1 or Series 2. It's all explained in there. We have changed one thing for this series, though. You may notice the uh, segment of the wheel, formerly known as Pink Slips, has been replaced by S. B C. What does SBC stand for? Squad building challenges. Yes, brand new feature in Ultimate Team this year is going to be built into the series. Every time we hit there on the wheel, like so, I'll have to do a squad building challenge. If I succeed in that challenge, I will obviously get the reward from that challenge. However, if I lose the challenge, I will have to lose a player from my club. One more bit of admin to do before we crack on. You may remember the yellow and blue challenge time pots. Here they are, Bush. Now, these haven't changed. They've still got non-FIFA challenges that I have to do before the next game in order to get a reward or FIFA challenge I have to do in the next game. However, the difference this year is the challenges are all suggested by you guys. I tweeted out for some challenges and you guys gave me some really good ones. Let's take a look at some of them. Here you go, so we've got them here. Um, got one from Ali Usman here. Uh, get Alex to buy you a player without you helping her. That's one challenge. Um, FIFA related, play FIFA match with only players under 64 rated. Uh, there's loads of them here. They're all gonna get folded up and they're gonna get put in the pot. So the challenges this year are decided by you. And guys, there's one more thing to tell you about today before we crack on with actually playing the game, and that is to celebrate the return of the Wheel of Fortune. I'm gonna do a competition for you guys, an amazing giveaway. Here's what you can win. A copy of FIFA 17 on Xbox One or PS4, it's up to you. I'm giving away three copies in total. In fact, everything I'm giving away, there'll be three winners of. Um, I'm also giving away one of these amazing hashtag United covers for the game, which have been provided by EA Sports. So the game will actually look like this, completely different to the normal normal FIFA 17 cover, which I think is pretty cool. You can see the difference there. Also, I've got a hashtag United FIFA Ultimate Team card. It's a nice, thick, good quality card. That's going to come in the package and an actual Ultimate Team coin, a real life coin. It's chocolate, but you don't have to eat it. So how can you win them, I hear you ask? Very simple. I've just started uploading again on my Spencer Owen channel. I've got lots of new videos planned for there. A little bit different, not football or FIFA, just a separate side to my personality. Uh, to show your support for that channel, I want you to head over there. I want you to subscribe if you haven't already. And on the latest video, all you need to do is comment and say, don't forget to hashtag it. Once you've commented, don't forget to hashtag it on the most recent Spencer Owen video. It's when I did a thing called the Sprinterthon, if you're wondering. Um, once you've done that and you subscribe to the channel, I will choose three of you at random to win that prize. Okay, it's a pretty cool prize, brand new game, all the little goodies. Good luck to you all. Links are in the description, everywhere on the screen if you need them. Let's crack on. Right, now finally we can actually play the game because I'm sweating in this suit already, I tell you. Uh, you may see here already we've got a brand new club ready to be played with. Uh, no games played, just over 10,000 points to open packs if we obviously get that from the wheel. Uh, no coins in the bank. Let's take a look at my starter squad that I got randomly from the game that I'll be starting with. Straight away, something is gonna jump out at you. I got an inform in my starter squad. I tweeted this out a while ago. A lot of people didn't believe me. Trust me, it's 100% legit. Look at the contracts. They've all got exactly 45 contracts. They're all first owner. They were given to me in my starter squad. Apparently you can get an inform in your starter squad if you, or if that player is actually normally a non-rare, because they don't give you rares in starter squads, but has been made into an inform the week you open the game sort of thing. That's what's happened to me here. So I've got an inform straight off the bat, which is unbelievable, boys. Obviously, before we play our first game in Division 10, don't forget the mission of Wheel of Fortune is to get to the Division 1 title as quickly as possible. 
only doing what the wheel allows me to do, whether it's buying players, opening packs, doing challenges, whatever, the wheel is our God, our leader, and we will worship it. So first thing we need to do is arrange this team in some kind of decent positions, all right? So this guy can go left mid. His name is Forsberg. Uh, he's Swedish, plays for Red Bull Leipzig in the Bundesliga. Okay, it's a really good starting item. That's probably the team we're going to start with, guys. Two strikers who go by the name of Felivi and Borriello. I've heard of Borriello. I know about him, Marco Borriello. He was at West Ham, I think, once, wasn't he? Wasn't he at West Ham once? Let me know in the comments below. I'm sure he was at West Ham. Um, Forsberg, left midfield. We've got Summerfield and Lee in the middle, both English. We've got uh, Thai Chosen. Thai Chosen, right wing. We've got gold right back Uchida, good player. Been around the block a little bit from Japan. We have got uh, Lancashire and Dunkley. Uh, centre back, both English. We've got Mason from Watford left back, and we have got uh, Bachman, the Stoke goalkeeper in goal. All right, so that is our starter squad for the Wheel of Foot Tune. 67 chemistry, 65 rated. I've had worse starts, to be honest. I think we can win some games in Division 10 with this team, but as you guys know, before we play a game, we have to spin the wheel. Here we go, first spin of the series. Where's it gonna end up? Bang. There we go, and we are off. Just like that, the Wheel of Foot Tune Series 3, Episode 1 has begun. So, what are we gonna get? We haven't got any coins, so we can't buy a player. We need packs, really, is what we want. We want packs, don't we? Is it gonna give us packs? Where is it gonna end up? Don't be bankrupt. What's it, buy an inform? Open three packs would be lovely at this stage. And it is just in open three packs. So close to a squad building challenge, but let's open three packs. Okay, premium gold packs. Let's get three of these bad boys open. Right, first packs of the series. Are we gonna get some game changers? Who we got in here? First pack, center back. Oh, okay, looks decent. Oh my god, the hardest name I've ever seen to pronounce. Kolodzijak. Kolodzijak. He's gold, he's 80 rated, I'll take him. But I don't want to say his name, we have to give him a nickname. We'll call him Kolo. We've also got Bungert in there, and Vilotta. So we're going to send all this stuff to the club, because it's all quite useful. Do we want to change? Oh, we get, get, we'll get this kit involved. That's a lovely little kit. Hamburg away kit, I like it. And should we go the Ajax badge? No, we'll leave the Ajax badge for now. Let's just send it all to the club. Two more packs to go, come on. Who's in this one? It's a, oh, Alsasa from Barcelona. That's decent, 81 rated, 73 pace, not that fast, but 80 shooting. He could be a hero. He could be the new Danny Ings. Remember the big heroes of the first two series have both been called Danny, really. First series we had Danny Bloom, although also Marco Sal did steal the show. Second year we had Danny Ings, big, big, big player for us last year on the Wheel of Fortune series two. And also in Forever Blowing, we had Danny Whitehead. Danny's always performed for me. Anyway, Alsasa, uh, Sigeri, Sigurdsson, not sure how you say that, Hurtado. We'll send all these guys to the club as well. One more pack. Come on, be decent. Final pack before we play our first game. Valbuena, that's another good pack, you know. Nice, 79 rated pace. Our team's looking all right for this first game, to be fair. Uh, Hilton as well. Amory, some manager options. Oh, West Ham away kit. What a start. We've got our first West Ham thing. All right, that'll be our away kit. Two nice kits already. We've got the gear. Have we got any idea? We're going to find out in this next game. I'll send everything else to the club. Let's take a look at how those new signings affect things for our team. Well, that's the team we can put out. The chemistry is not as good, but the players are a lot better. We've got a lot more golds in there. Uh, I think this guy, we're going to call him Colo at the back, could be good for us. Valbuena could be good for us. Borriello and Al Sasso up front could cause all sorts of damage. Let's go out there, see if we can get a first win in our first game of the series in Division 10. Here you can see, completely new start. We're looking for the title. Let's do it. Okay, let's take a look at our first opponents of the series, AFC Ashford. They've got Mark Noble from West Ham. Uh, who else do we recognise in there? Uh, Stephen DeFore of Burnley, recognise him in the, in the cam spot. I think that's Mankillo right back for uh, Sunderland. A lot of Spanish players in there. 55 chemistry, similar team to mine in terms of chemistry and the amount of golds he's got in there. Let's go. Got to get it out. We've got to get it out, lads. Okay, not a good start. We can break here. Our Sasser on the ball. Goes to Valbuena. Valbuena's got so much room. Surely it's going to be the first goal of the Wheel of Fortune. Right here, Valbuena. Yes, come on. We just got him in a pack, and we just scored with him. 1-0 to my boys. Get in. Valbuena goes through. He's not messing about. Mm, bang. First goal of the series is by a Frenchman. A little, little Frenchman. Mathieu Valbuena. Well done. Don't worry about what Benzema was doing to you, mate. I'll look after you. You just need to worry about Spenzema. Oh, no. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. What a tackle that is. It's not over yet, though. Keeper, get there. That's solid. Solid D. Valbuena. Go inside. 
Look for that one too. Bang. Valbuena's already got one goal. Can he get another one? Or is he going to go inside to Borriello? Borriello. Oh, Borriello's not been good so far, I have to admit. We've committed here. We're short on defenders. We've got to win this tackle. That's not good for me. I'm all over the shop here. Keeper needs to save us. And we've conceded a goal. And it's one all. That was very, very bad defending from me. Not ideal for our first game. And there's the half-time whistle. Okay, one all at half-time. Oh, no. He's got through. Good save. We're in a game here. Make no mistake, we're in a game. Borriello finds this man. Can't pronounce his name, so I'm not going to try. But he does well. He finds Li Yu Hong, who finds Forsberg, who goes back to Li Yu Hong. Li Yu Hong pulls it back to Forsberg. Forsberg puts it inside for Borriello. And Borriello gets it. That is against the run of play. I'll be honest, he's been, all, he's been all over us. But I've snuck it under the legs of the keeper with Borriello, who hasn't had a good game at all. But look at that. Under his legs, it's actually bounced off the keeper and it's 2 1 to the Wheel of Fortune boys. Come on, Amory. Look for Borriello. Borriello can make it too. He's not got a lot of pace, so I'm going to have to bang it with him. And he's put it wide. I'm not sure if he's left or right footed. I should have done my research. Can't afford to let it slip now, boys. Cannot afford to let it slip now. Don't let him get that side of us. Ah, ah. The defending is redonkulous. Go. Looking for Borriello. It's a great through ball. Borriello's got the strength and he's been taken down and that should be a straight red, surely. I'm not sure if he's got sent off, but I think Valbuena can strike this, you know. We're going to let him hit it. Valbuena, there's the strike. What's he got in his locker? Bang! It's in! Oh, we score a free kick in the last seconds. Valbuena gets two goals on his debut. I love that. I mean, it's everyone's debut, of course, but what a debut for the little man. 3-1. The game could have gone either way, but I'll take it. Scoring a free kick in the first game of the new series of Wheel of Fortune is a sign of things to come. Look at that strike. And there's the final whistle. Come on, maximum points so far. Let's keep it going. Man of the match, understandably, goes to Valbuena. 9.5 for him. Two goals, one for Borriello. An assist for Alcesa and Forsberg. I'm very happy with that performance. Get our first coins as well for that one. Lovely, 473. And looking at the stats, it was very tight. But we had a few more chances. We need to change the name of our club. I've just realised we're still called Brescia AS. Great start though. Decent. Okay, before we play our second game of the episode, we need to spin the wheel again. Bang. Let's see what we get. We currently have 473 coins in the bank, which is obviously not very much. We could buy a player with that if we were to get uh, buy any player. There it is. But uh, it wouldn't be a very good player, would it? But it might help for chemistry reasons. Let's see what the wheel throws at us though. What's it going to give us? Are you kidding me? I mean... At least we get bankrupt early on. It doesn't really cost us anything, but that's pretty annoying. Those 473 coins we just earned are now gone. Brilliant. So we go to the transfer list, buy something for 473, and then quick sell it. Most we can spend is 450. This thing's listed for 450. We'll buy it now. It leaves us with just 23 coins. And then now we just need to quick sell it, basically. Quick sell it for 34. So we're going to be left with a measly 57 coins. Brilliant. Right, let's play our second game. I haven't really got anyone decent to bring in, so we're going to play the same team again. I was quite happy with the performance. Let's see if we can pick up another win, get some coins back. This will be the final game of this episode as well. Normally, I do three games per episode. But for this one, because we have to do a lot of stuff in the intro, we're just going to do two to get cracking. Okay, my opponents here are uh, VGYFGCF. Uh, I think they've got Mayer in cam. We've got Darren Gibson. As Azpilicueta at left back. All right. It's, it's an okay team, but there's a few bronzes in there. I think my team's better, although their chemistry is better than mine. Borriello looking to add to his goal tally. Getting one in the first game already. He's still got it. He's going to lay it off to Amri, who's going to strike it. Decent start, boys. Borriello does well here. He's still got it. Whip it in, Borriello. There's the ball. Attack it. Seconds. No. Oh, keeper's done well. Get on that, though. Chance. Oh, hit it. Oh my God, it's all over the shop. Hang on, it comes out to Amri, who's going to strike it. Oh my God, I thought it was going in. Right, we really should win this game. We've had a great start already. Right, Cola on the ball. Goes down to Amri. Amri feeds it into Valbuena, who goes past his man. Tries to get the shot away. Amri's going to hit it. Deflection. His keeper is on fire. Oh, they've got players here. We've got a little bit of an overlap situation. Oh no, he's got pace. He's got so much pace. There's the tackle though. And that is top quality. Oh, no, 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 no. He's got through my defence. We're in a situation here. Keeper's come out. And somehow I'm 1-0 down in this game. I don't know how. This is a disaster. He it into Alsasa. Alsasa turns his man. Still Alsasa. That's lovely. Alsasa, bang that for me. Oh, that is what Alsasa can do. Straight like that. We're back in the game with a swift reply. Don't forget to hashtag it. 
Come on. Look at this strike from Alsace. He actually sends the defender on the floor. Then he bangs it. It's beautiful. Half time. It's another draw at half time. We are on top in this game massively, though. We really should be winning it. Amory, lovely turn, though. Beautiful turn, in fact. Finds Valbuena. Edge of the box. Hits it. This keeper. Here we go. This is it. This is it, boys. Amory, send him. 1-2. Nice. Have it again. Lovely football. Alsace, get me the goal. Oh, I was taken out from behind there after I had the shot. Oh, I think I have been. It's been given. It's going to be a straight red and a penalty. Right, I'm rubbish at penalties. So I'm not sure if I'll score. But Oliver Turton is off. The fact that he's got 10 men will help me a lot. Right, Forsberg's on it. I'm going to let him take it. Here we go. Let's do it, Forsberg. Bang. And I've missed it. What a surprise. The rebound could come to me, though. Another save. But I'm so bad at penalties in this game. I've got to get better at them. Hopefully, I can still win this, though. Still got this. Play it through. Finish it for me. Bang. How have we not put that on target? Who was that? That's unacceptable. Oh, and there's the final whistle. Can't believe we've drawn that game. Decent performance. I just can't finish. Story of my life. Amory got man of the match in there. He got nine. Goal for Alsace and assist for Amory. We got 669 coins for that because I've got the coin boost on, which is helpful. Look at that. 22 shots to two. 14 on target to one. That is daylight robbery, guys. So after two games in Division 10, we've got four points. Still looking very good for promotion and the title, of course. Hopefully we'll get some more wins next episode. But that is it for this episode of the Wheel of Fortune. Series 3 is back. Make sure you drop a like on the video if you're excited to see the return of the series. Feel free to leave a comment below if any of the stuff I've discussed. Don't forget to enter the giveaway for a chance to win FIFA 17 on a console of your choice and all the hashtag United goodies that come with it. All the details you need for that giveaway are in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you see all the content first. You can see some of my other channels to the side of me now and all the links you need. So... I'll see you when you're older. Until next time, don't go changing.